Quang against Hera. Vietnamese versus Celts. So apologies for the fact that this is going really quick. Because we're trying to catch up to live time. But this new Arabia version is very open. Okay? It's very open. And there's a certain player who dominates with aggression. Who does the same thing all the time. And there's something he likes to eat. And that's called the town center. So we've got Huang. I'm actually just going to do this because this is annoying me. Huang. Uh, Huang is in the blue playing as the Celts. Celts, 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 Celts. He loves Celts. I think he's going to be loving how open the map is as well because his man at arms could do more. And then here you've got Hera. And uh, Hera's playing as the Vietnamese, which is a save you're normally thinking archers. Could be problematic because archers not so good against Celt Siege. But it kind of depends on how Huang wants to play this. So far, Huang hasn't left his base yet. And almost... Is he going to go fast castle? Oh my god. Huang, we made the map more open. What are you... Okay, Huang is going to try to go fast castle so he can get to siege as fast as possible. Meanwhile, Hera is playing 20 pop up. And it looks like Hera is going to go for scouts. Um, you know, which is not necessarily playing into the strengths of his civilization. But, you know, he wants to go aggressive. You guys don't understand, by the way. Like, you guys are like, haha, it's funny, Huang. Uh -huh. you, you laugh, you hear what pros say, but you don't understand the frustration when you sit in queue for five minutes and then you get this guy. <laughs> like, what it is against Huang is, if you win, you think, well, I should have won because he had three farms. I should beat someone that has three farms. But if you lose, you just hate your life. <laughs> There's no winning with Huang unless you're Huang. <laughs> it's it's crazy, man. Uh, Huang, oh, he hits Hera's scout there. That hurts Hera a little bit. Uh, Huang just trying to go fast castle, which is extremely risky. Uh, Hera will be in feudal age in just a moment. And honestly, Huang's base, he's made this look really easy to wall, right? Like, this is supposed to be a more open map, Jen. But he's made this look quite easy. Now, I said this when I saw the version of the map. I think that they need to, to tweak it and make it more balanced because there are situations where some players will just have much better maps um, on this new Arabia. But okay. Huang's not going to be able to fast castle based on the current resources. But I think Huang is probably going to sell all the stone. And Hera is going to be making more scouts. And Hera has the scout in here right now. Which he could use to attack Huang's scout. Because Huang's scout is a Dark Age scout. And Hera knows that. So Hera's just being a nerd. And Huang may be a little scared right now. This is a very extreme strategy. We'll just see if it works out. Yeah, Huang is a unique player, guys. I'm sure you guys know this. You know, I was, um, I was on someone's stream recently. I don't even know who it was. But someone brought up Huang. And someone said, why is Huang even popular? And then someone in that chat was like, T90 made him popular. And then a few people went off on a tangent about how I make dumb things popular. And I was sitting right there. And I was reading it. But I didn't want to say anything because it's unprofessional of me to just be like, hey, hello. I'm here. So yeah, that happened. I, I It was awkward, man. I just wanted to chill and hang out in the stream, but... Apparently, people are just going to make fun of me. By the way, there's no world... Like, you might not appreciate it, but there is no world where... If you look at what Huang has been able to do, he is not at least uh, someone you can appreciate, right? Like, you might not like it. It might not be Age of Empires, but the fact that he's been able to figure out stuff that can kill anyone, and he does it all the time, and you always know what's coming, is insane to me. So... Is he gonna... Yeah, look at this. He's walling behind the Spearman, and he's gonna delete a wall. Whoop! And Hera's like, okay, that's, that's whatever. Hera's on gold and making archers behind this. But yeah, the problem for Hera really is gonna be, can he stop the Huanging? Huang's gonna use the market. He's gonna sell stone. He's gonna buy food. He's gonna make a stable. And he actually didn't even sell his stone, which is pretty crazy. Okay, never mind. He did. There he goes. He sold it. And he's going to try and get just enough knights to get map control. And then he's going to walk forward and he's going to make a ton of siege. 
Hera's researched eco upgrades. Hera has is going to have more villagers because he's not advancing to the next age, but Hera's in feudal age. And scorpions and knights really strong against feudal age units. What's up, Belgium? He says, I saw that you casted my game versus Bohemians. He says, whenever I play that play against the wagons, they suck. Oh, you mean play with the wagons? Yeah, I think the important thing there was monks. People are still figuring that out. Okay. And Hera knows Huang. So Hera's just waiting for the Vils right now. Okay, the way Huang's doing this, though, is so bad if archers come out. Typically, what he does is he'll go for a stable and he'll use, he'll buy food to just get two knights to be able to trade against any archers. Hera, he now has the archers there. And let's see what Huang's reaction is. I love Huang. One of these days, I just want to get drunk and cast Huang games on stream. It's so, like, if you ever saw the Redrunculus game on YouTube, it's so much fun when you're intoxicated. You guys probably watch me cast, you watch Sober Me cast Huang on YouTube, but uh, the Redrunculus game was hilarious. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, the thing is, Hera did kill the Spearman. Let's see Hera's point of view here. He's like, all right, let's counterattack. Huang is in Castle Age now. It's 16 minutes. Hera's probably paranoid. Like, where is the Siege Workshop? I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Huang using the market. Let's update on Huang's economy. He's booming. He's got four farms. <laughs> um, forget eco upgrades, right? Because he either wins the game really fast or he doesn't win the game at all. Hera's still looking. He doesn't know. Look, he's expecting it to be on the sides. And it's actually right here at the bottom of the hill. And now there's a knight here. And that knight he cannot deal with. And he's going to see the siege workshop and be like, oh, crap. Oh, no. Now, let's see what Huang opens with. Uh, he's been opening with rams more and more. So I could see him opening with rams. He also doesn't... Well, he didn't know until now where Hera's TC was. He knows it's there now. So we have a Maganel on the way. Villagers are there. Four villagers is more than what he typically sends. Update on Huang's eco. He's actually creating villagers, guys. He's, he's adapted his build over the years. He's actually keeping his TC working. Which is incredible. But honestly, I think at this point... You need more knights. So I think it's best to idle your TC. I think he's going to do it now. Let's see. I think he'll no longer create builds for a couple minutes. That way he can afford knights. Maganel 1 is here. Hera surely sees that. Such a risky play to stand there with those archers, man. Even, even for someone like you, Hera, that's so risky. Okay. Scout still could be some type of a force here as we're going to see... Uh, well, it's only two siege weapons right now. And what is Huang going to do here? Why does he have four villagers trying to build something? He's just... <laughs> he's clicking in the entire army together, including the bills. Okay, just going to build a house here. Hera hops out. Hera attacks, and then he gets back inside the TC. Hera's really good at that, hopping in and, in and out of the TC like that. Huang could go in after the... So this is interesting. He will see the Vils and think, I'm going to kill Vils. But I actually think it's better for Hera if he loses a few Vils to get the Knights. Because then Hera can make army to take out the Siege. And then Hera's Vil count's going to be okay. I think. Unless Huang is going to somehow boom. But I mean... Okay, he, he lost two Knights there. He killed one Villager. I don't think that's worth it. Can you switch the colors? No, I'm not going to switch the colors. I'm using the colors that are in game. I think that makes the most sense. So let's see if Huang can eat this TC. What's Hera gonna do? Didn't he lose two knights there? Sorry, I looked away. Maybe he just lost one knight. Look at the eco APM stats right now. <laughs> Look at the eco APM. This is crazy. Hera's gonna abandon the town center. He doesn't think he can hold this. And the thing is, he can't send knights in here because there's monks. Yeah. And the monks will convert the knights. All right. Kelt eat TC. Nom, 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 nom. Kelt eat TC. Can we get some nom noms in chat? Now, the thing is, now Harry doesn't have a town center. 
Huang, he might as well not have one because he doesn't produce from it. No, he is! He's actually producing from it. He's booming people. This is crazy. Okay, the scout's gonna go in there to take the monk, but not get it because scorpions are OP. Here, though, monk goes down. And Hera has a lot of military. It all depends on the monks and the siege, really. That is the bulk of this army, and it looks to me like as the siege does some damage here. Uh, what? Uh, his Hera's losing! Hera's losing! I couldn't tell until the last second. Hera's losing this. And the villagers are here. Oh, Hera is going to get a conversion because the villagers blocked it. Hera's winning. I lied. Hera's winning. I'm sorry. It's so hard to tell. Okay, the knight goes down, so the ram will still attack there. The Maganel is going to be repaired. And then there's going to be a conversion. And no, Wong is winning. Wong is winning. I got it wrong. I'm sorry. Where is that dirty, boring, rotten person who said Wong is boring? Like, come on, man. This is incredible. Okay, now we have a monk that's going to get a conversion, but then Huang's going to try and get a conversion, and Huang deletes the knight. Huang could still get a conversion, but he doesn't know which knight to go for, and Hera's going to have the hill here. And Hera misses it, and now the monk there has to dodge from the Maganel, but now the Maganel's not being repaired, but the Maganel tries to hit that monk, and that monk dodges, and Hera... Hera's winning again. I think? Right? Yes. Maybe not. Maybe it's 50-50. Maybe it's a tie. Okay, Hera has to run away. Hera had to make more monasteries. He had to make more stables. He still doesn't have a town center. Okay, there we had a knight deleted, which was a smart move from Huang. He still has two original villagers here. Hera's now going to attack with, <laughs> with his villagers. It's really important for Huang, though, that he converts the knights, not the villagers. He clicked the villagers. you got to be kidding me. Well, this is how Huang gets economy. 39 villagers versus 37. Huang is now out booming Hera. But Hera doesn't have the eco to make anything besides some monks right now. And if Siege comes out then, then the Siege is going to kill Hera's villagers. Huang games are something else. Again, horrible to play against, but absolutely insane to watch. Wait, did Hera just push this back? Is Hera okay now? What? I mean, the knight took out the monk. Here you're going to see... Okay, conversion. I think Huang is going to try and switch into a boom now, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is where Huang buys stone. Yeah, he's going to stone. Huang wants to boom now. Oh, we're getting an eco upgrade, baby. Hera's going to town center over here! What the... As far away from Huang's siege workshop as possible. Well, okay. Uh, these villagers are going to go down. Uh, that works. I mean, Hera has enough military to work with for now. Yeah, Huang is just now going to switch into a boom. Who's winning? Hera? Hera has one, two more, or no, one more eco upgrade, but he... His TC is on gold. Chat is winning. Viewers are winning. Okay, that's fair. I mean, the other thing is, it all depends on the monks that are out there. There's a lot of monks, and you look away for a second, you could be in trouble. Thing about Huang is now he's going to be looking at his economy a little more. I think. I mean, again, he's on stone. Maybe he's on stone for a castle drop, but I thought he was going to add a TC. Oh, man. Um, I think Hera probably has the better multitasking. If we're going to be booming and going for monk micro. Kid. Neither Civ really have great monk upgrades, so... If their Hera gets a conversion, he'll be happy with that. Does anyone know if Vietnamese get atonement? Because Hera has a lot of gold. That would make a lot of sense. Okay, never mind. They do. We see atonement now. So that means you can convert enemy monks. Huang gets a conversion there. Hera going for conversions here. He's going to get the spearman. Atonement's in in 25 seconds, Hera. Do not, do not lose knights before atonement comes in. Uh, well, there's only one conversion there. Yeah, Huang didn't click different knights. Huang's still sending spearmen and monks forward. I think this is just going to get worse and worse for him. I think Hera's going to win this. Atonement is killer here. Because then he just... He already has the monks to convert knights. Yep, he's he, the, he's way better at multitasking than Huang. And then he's just going to turn around and take away Huang's monks from him. 
Yeah, I just don't know why Huang sent five villagers to stone except if he wanted to boom. Okay, here he goes. Building a TC with one vill. Yep, and now, now Hera has full control. Because you convert one monk, then you can convert the next monk. You could convert everything. He can't convert your knights. So you take out the siege. I mean, he probably will get some conversions on knights here, but the siege threat is going to be dealt with. It now just becomes what type of economies are they going to have? I mean, to be fair, Wong's still getting some good conversions here to stick a lot, stick around a bit longer. Good conversions. Uh, even more conversions. He's bringing his spear back to his side. 42 villagers versus 43. It's 55 population versus 51. If Hera was on two TCs right now, then I, I would say that Hera's going to dominate, but he's only on one. Probably thinking that Huang is the old Huang, and Huang would never boom. I convert one monk, and I convert it back, is what we're seeing right now. I'm sure if MBL was out there watching, he'd be very proud. This is ridiculous, man. Monks are so insane. This is the dumbest fight. Can you imagine trying to convince your friend to play this game, and then they showed up to the stream right now just to see what you were talking about? They would peace out to another game so fast, it wouldn't even be funny. Oh, wait a second. Oh, man. Eric converted the monks back. Okay, Hera has a lot of resources right now and is now going to chill out, place a TC, take care of that Maganel. Huang only on two TCs. Yeah, Huang's economy is just so bad. He's also not even doing a real good job at booming. This TC hasn't created another villager yet. So as much as I love Huang, the reality is when it comes to standard play, he's just worse than everyone else that he plays against. That's 2k1+. plus. Um, and Hera's 2k5, right? So, it's just his strategy is able to kill people uh, because it is so all-in. Wong is the least balanced player in the game. He went from 1 TC 4 farms to 4 TCs <laughs> with 10 farms. He doesn't have... Like, most players try and go for a mix of Siege and Eco or a mix of Knights and Eco. He doesn't do that. There's no, there's no mix for him. It's just... He chooses one thing, and he does a lot of it. Now, I don't even know. Is he sending villagers out here? That's not the first time I've seen these vills. Okay. He can't make monks anymore. That's going to be converted. Oh, God. D disaster. Hera is owning him now. Okay. Hera, steal his farms. You could click the farm with your with your villager there. Wong, why are you doing it? Another monk. Oh, my God. Wong just doesn't know what to do, and GG. <laughs> GG. <laughs> oh, God. Atonement was the killer there, but ultimately, it was a really entertaining one. When Hera sent his villagers out, what that did was that distracted Huang, and Huang didn't micro well enough. Let's actually look at that. Because I'm fairly certain like this was all very close. I wasn't sure who was winning. Okay... Military counts 6 versus 2, right? So, 6 versus 2. He's got two monks. He's got a scorpion. Now, watch what happens with this knight. This knight changes things. He needed to convert the knight instead of the vills. He needed to make sure his monks could still get conversions. What he did with all three of his monks was he went in for conversions on vills. And now the monks start coming out from Hera, and Hera can just convert the vills back. So here again, monk gets a conversion on a vill. Knight comes out, and now you can't take care of that. If Huang didn't convert villagers, Huang would have been okay. But because he converted the villagers, and it was maybe just too tempting for him, he lost that game. He needed to have monks to convert knights. And that's what lost him the game. And and at what one hair of the game or gave him an opportunity. I mean, at this point, his eco is so bad, right? It was sending the villagers. That was a good move. Uh, you kind of have to make your own luck in this game, and I think Huang just made a massive misplay when that happened. It's funny, you know, Hera didn't have a TC for so long. But yeah, if you look at the timeline, it doesn't even look like that, right? You can't even tell. If anything, it looks like Huang didn't have a TC because of how little eco he had around this point. But yeah, that's what happens when you play the Huangster. Uh, Huang had more wood, more gold, more stone. Hera had more food, which I guess ended up winning the game. Hera was pissed at the Monk RNG. I think the Monk RNG was fine. I don't think there was much RNG in that game. 
there was like one instance on either side where maybe the the conversions were a little late compared to what you'd want but i thought the monk i thought everything was fine there converting knight wouldn't have done much he could delete it yeah okay so you delete your knights and then huang has siege and so your villagers die right the difference was Hera could clear up the monks and that way the the presence of Huang's push was gone. So that that was the big thing about that, I think, right? Um the presence of Huang's push disappeared because of losing that position. If he if he had the monks still alive, then what he would do is he'd just make more scorpions, and then the villagers are dead, right? So Hera deleting knights would actually be a good thing for Huang. He could still get conversions, he could still stick around, and he could continue to push. But is anyone else a little surprised that Huang didn't make more siege? He didn't make too much. For how for how all in his eco was, I was surprised we didn't see more Maganels. I was surprised we didn't see more scorpions. Normally he has like five or six scorpions. So that was a little weird.